Welcome back to Brain to Blaze, a weekly podcast about epilepsy, by epileptics, for epileptics, and their caretakers. I'm your host, David Clifford. In this episode, I'll try to describe how it feels when I have a seizure. Remember in episode two when I said, each person's experience when having a seizure is often completely unique. Now, my explanation of my symptoms might not match up with another's experience, but hopefully there's enough overlap that I can get my point across. As the brain is essentially misfiring during a seizure, it is creating new sensations. It is remarkably difficult to describe what you feel through a seizure. When someone asks me, what does it feel like to have a seizure? I can see them grow impatient as I describe the experiences of all the different types of seizures that I have had. They usually grow bored and finally blurt out, what about the ones where you fall down? That is a tonic clonic seizure, and I promise we will get there, but let's just save that one for last. I've had partial focal seizures where I lose the feeling in the right side of my face, temporarily lose sight in my right eye, or my left arm starts twitching uncontrollably. In this case, I may or may not even know that I'm doing it. Another case where I don't realize that I'm doing it is sleeping at night. I only learned what happened when one morning I pointed out to my wife that both sides of my tongue were rubbed raw. She nonchalantly pointed out, Oh yeah, you have seizures when you sleep. You start uncontrollably swallowing, then grunting, then seizing. If my wife hadn't told me, I would have never known. It didn't even occur to me at all, even after I was forced to talk like Jesus Thurston Howard God. the third for a couple days afterwards. Going on and on. When is he going to get to the part where he falls down? You listening? Yeah, sure. You sure you weren't starting to drift off? No, I got you. It is important that all of us know all the symptoms of the different seizures. First, it might help with your diagnosis. More importantly, though, when you hang out with other epileptics, you can help them when witnessing their symptoms. I cannot teach him. The boy has no patience. He will learn patience. When I have a tonic-clonic seizure, there are three distinct parts. A before, a during, and an after. A few minutes before a seizure, I have an aura. Emotionally, I start having a lonely sensation that I can only describe as a feeling that one might have when walking down a lonely, dark country road. Very old and creepy. It is that fleeting moment right before one wants to start running, except for that fleeting moment lasts for minutes. Then I start sweating. Oh, here come the meat sweats. <laughs> no, 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 not like that. It feels like I just came out of the shower. My tongue starts to tingle as if I held a 9-volt battery to it, like when one does on a dare as a kid. I also start rapidly swallowing and blinking. And then it starts. During a seizure, I feel... Out. Nothing. There's no bright lights, no voices speaking unfolding the secrets of the universe. My typical seizure might last seconds to three to four minutes. But when I wake up after a seizure, I am woozy, exhausted, and in pain. Pain! Coming, you most lugubrious man! Pain and panic. Reporting for duty. 
In my younger years, I was a pretty good triathlete. The exhaustion I feel just after a minute-long seizure is comparable to the feeling I had after racing a full international distance race. Fatigue is one thing. The pain after a seizure is so intense that while laying in bed, the sheets actually hurt when they touch my skin. The pain does die down after a while, though. Then, when you start moving, it flares up in muscles that you don't even know you had. In my early 20s, I was just able to jump right back up after having a seizure. In my late 20s, it started taking a few hours to recover. My 30s? Half a day. Now in my 40s, it takes a full day of recuperation to the point where I feel I can just get back to work. I've heard other epileptics describe that they are angry when they come to after having a seizure. Emotionally after a seizure, I don't feel anger or even sadness. I feel guilt. Guilt that I've put my family and my body through another round. Guilt that I may have let my friends or co-workers wondering where I was. Guilt that I am forced to step out of my life for the next 24 hours to ensure I can start things anew. If you or someone for whom you care shared this to you, and you are not an epileptic, please know that they are as upset about their life being put on hold just as much as you. And if you're an epileptic and you wish to share what you experienced during a seizure, please let us know in the show comments at brainablaze.com or on Twitter at brainablaze. If you like today's show, consider subscribing or even leaving a five-star review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you download your content. One small click really does help. See you next time.